Life Flight are awesome people. They they help. They just non-stop helping people and yeah, saving their lives. So I was like riding a motorbike, hit a concrete tank, and I hurt myself really badly. And then that's why that's why Life Flight had to come out and ship me to Brisbane. Yeah. It's looking really good. Hey, hey, hello. Good day, Cooper. How are you going, mate? <laughs> and you timed it perfectly because we were already flying, and then suddenly we get another call. It's like, hey, can you please come out to the Alarban and come pick up Cooper? So, well timed as well. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> All of this. Thank you. I'm very, very grateful. You don't remember that, but that's ours on your front lawn. When we picked you up, <laughs> and then if you actually flick it over, yeah. it's got all the flight crews on that side and all the medical people who looked after you on that side. We live about three and a half hours west of Brisbane. We live on a property. We're probably 30, 32 kilometres from the nearest hospital. Um, and it's a great hospital. It has everything you could need but it doesn't have the specialist care that um, you know a child with a severe traumatic brain injury needs. The so Life Flight was able to take Cooper quickly and safely to the Queensland Children's Hospital in Brisbane. Cooper got his first motorbike when he was he was probably four or five. He was definitely in prep, and um, he got a little fifty, and then he he's, so he's been riding motorbikes for a good six years, always at home, always just putting around and um, so he just had his first ride it was a bigger motorbike and he was just riding doing like figures of eights past the house at home going backwards and forwards and um, he just rode past us we were sitting at the back gate and he's just gone past us behind the shed just out of sight and we've heard his motorbike stop so we ran and found him lying on the ground next to his motorbike what i've done I've got two bad bleeds on both sides of the brains, badly bruised the shoulder, dislocated the shoulder, cracked some ribs, bruised my heart, bruised my lungs, punctured a little hole in my lung, and of course I snapped my leg, like compound fracture. Um, I think that's it, because they were pretty serious injuries. I'm not allowed to ride a motorbike, but I'm happy as that because the knee's fixed anyway. Um, yeah, but I'm not allowed to play footy. But it hasn't really done much of it. It has put a big impact in it, but not as bad as some other people have had. Footy, I sort of live and breathe. Like, I love footy. Yeah, that's about it. No, I'm allowed to play footy next year. During a flight, this other top here has got everything you'd think you'd find in a normal hospital. So you've oxygen up there, you've yeah. an ultrasound there. It was really good to meet um, the crew that saved Cooper, because um, that's what they've done, they saved him. Uh, it's not an understatement to say that without Life Flight, I don't think Cooper would be alive today. Uh, and seeing a kid like Cooper today, it just makes me, I suppose, proud of the achievements that we've able to have with Cooper. Um, excited that we can work in this kind of environment and this kind of job and to see the impacts that we've had on people like that yeah it, it's it's really heartwarming when I met the crew today I, I really really thank them they've really done a lot for me if it wasn't for life like my son could have died <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you for saving my life. No, you're welcome, mate. It's our pleasure, hey? Mm -hmm. It's great to see you doing really, really well. It's really, really good.